Hey guys, David here with you with DC Appliance Repair and in this video I'll be showing you how to repair a shift actuator in a Whirlpool washer. Down in the description below I have a video to show you where you can locate the diagnostic sheet and how to read the error codes. To complete this job you will need a 5 16 nut driver and a Phillips head screwdriver. If this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and feel free to leave me a comment. See you guys in the next video. What's going on guys? We're going to be talking about the shift actuator on this Whirlpool washer that we changed. Um, I got a video on my channel that tells you how to get this machine in a diagnostic mode and how to read the error codes. I was getting the F7E5 and the F7E6. A lot of times when you get these two together, especially when it's showing fault for the shift actuator, the shift actuator will also throw up the F7E6, which is motor fault, because what has to happen the machine has to sense that that gear has shifted. Well, when the shifter uh, actuator is at fault, um, the motor cannot work properly. So when you get these two together like this, um, the best thing to do is to change the shift actuator. All right, guys, I'll see y'all in the next clip. changing this actuator there we go. 5 16 a Felipe There's a little sensor right here, and this what changes the motor. Now what we want to look at is you always want to make sure this right here is not broken or functioning properly. There's the new one. New one. Make sure you loop that back in there. Harness back in. There you go, gentlemen. You ready to rock and roll? All right. Make sure you get your uh, piece back here. Your there went the ship. Right up like a champ. Actuator was bad. 
All right, guys, thank you for watching my channel. I hope you're enjoying the information that I'm putting out there. If you felt like you've learned something today and would like to contribute to my channel, I put a PayPal button at the top right hand corner of my page. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.